Hey, happy Friday everybody. It's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com and welcome to this free video drum lesson where I'm going to show you how to play a classic drum beat from the song I Keep Forgetting by originally Michael McDonald uh, featuring on drums the legendary Jeff Beccaro. What an amazing drummer he was. Uh, and the groove on this uh, just goes to show just how good he is. As, we, as we'll see as we go through, I've got the PDF which you can download from my website. You'll find a link beneath this video. So I have that printed out in front of you as we go through this lesson. It's a four bar groove, really. And what I've written here is, note, Jeff improvises a lot with the bass jump and whether the hi-hat opens or not. So feel free to do the same. Below is a combination of the majority of variations he uses. So what I mean by that, first of all, is um, uh, there's, no, there's not one definitive four bar groove he, he sticks to. He improvises with the opening and closing of the hi-hat. Sometimes he opens uh, the hi-hat on the and of four, as we'll see. Sometimes he doesn't. And the bass drum changes as well. So uh, the majority of the time he's playing this pattern, um, but it does change ever so slightly occasionally. But the majority of the time, this I, I guess you could, you could, you could wash it, um, boil it down to just four bars. And th this is the essence of, of Jeff's, Jeff's performance. So the first thing to, 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 uh, to, to mention here as we go into the first bar is the fact he's playing 16th notes on the hi-hat. And just because of the way it sounds, the, the, the accents he uses, I can tell he's playing it one-handed. He's playing 16th notes at this tempo. For all, for all the song, basically, which is no um, easy feat at all. Um, you need to have your wrist completely relaxed, your grip completely relaxed, and using a lot of the stick, the bounce of the stick, with the molar technique we talked about in many other videos, in order to play that all the way through. If you, if you don't use the whipping molar action, and you just have to play all the notes individually, with your wrist, you won't last more than 10 seconds. So you have to learn that technique, and be comfortable to improvise underneath it to be able to play this up to tempo. The other thing you can do, of course, is play it double-handed. And if, if you can't get the single-handed down, then play it double-handed. It won't sound exactly the same, but you know, no one's gonna sound like Jeff Beccaro anyway. You can play all this double-handed as we'll see in a second as well. So the first bar, we're playing snare drum on backbeat on beat two and four. That's what he keeps throughout the entire song. We get one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. And it's repeating my idea at the end of the bar, opening the hi-hat on the and of four. But like I said at the beginning of this video, sometimes he doesn't open it there. He just keeps it closed. But we've got the bass drum on one and the uh, three, pushing into beat three. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. I'm actually much smoother with the double hand, as you can tell there. You don't get the the, the downbeat accents on the one, the and, the two, and the and. You get a smoother hi-hat pattern. Um, and um, um, so it's up to you, really. It, it, it will sound different, but there's there's the, the, the workaround. Double hand will be just fine if you can't play this single-handed stuff. But I've mentioned that enough times now. Let's go into the second bar, where Jeff uh, does a, a really cool idea. Find the bass line, we skip over beat one, um, on the bass drum. We don't play a bass drum on beat one, we come in on the and of beat one. Then we've got this syncopated bit occurring where the bass drum comes just after beat two, on the E of two, and then a three. And then very subtle, but cool, we get the bass drum emphasizing the bass line with the snare drum on beat four. So we get an extra bass drum being played there on beat four of that bar. So slowly, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and three E and a four E and. and if we put bars one and two together, there's a cool effect happening where the hi-hat opens on the and of four at the end of bar one, closes on beat one where you'd expect the bass drum, and then the bass drum comes in on the and. So you've got this, this kind of nice feel where the hi-hat and bass drum are playing around with each other a little bit. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one. Okay, so we're perhaps up to speed in a moment. The next line, the first bar is identical to the bar above. And then the last bar is the bar that changes the most in the song. He changes this around a little bit. Um, we get the bass drum falling on and of one and two. So again, the snare drum beat, with beat two falling, in, falling down with a bass drum. We get the push into a three. And then at the end of the bar, we get a 
on the bass drum on the beat uh, on the uh, of beat three, just before the snare drum on four, and then for E and for E and two bass drum notes there. Very quiet, very subtle in the mix. The majority of the time, I believe he plays E and, but it could just be the and of beat four. But I don't think it is. I think he's pushing into the and there um, for E and for E and. But you could just play four and that'll work just as well, I'm sure. So that last bar, one and two E and a three E and a four E and one. E And now let's play all four bars that sort of tempo together. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and two E and a three E and a four E and one E and two a three four and one and two a three a four E and one. and double-handed, and then we'll play up to speed without me waffling over the top. That's a little bit faster, but you can see how easier it is to be able to play double-handed, because you, you can play faster. And then finally, let's hear those four bars played up to speed without the microphone on, so you can hear just the drums. Here we go. So if you've got any questions about any of that, feel free to email me, robertdrumsaword.com. Don't forget to download the free PDF that came with this lesson. Again, the video, the link is beneath this video. And then you might also want to consider signing up to my website, drumsaword.com. And what I currently offer for $97 is a full year's online access to every single uh, song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. That's over 300 famous and popular songs now on the website already, where I teach you a song from start to finish. Unlike this lesson where I just taught you one, one section, in these lessons, I teach you every single bar. You get the fully transcribed sheet music. And I take you through from the beginning of the song to the end of the song. And like I say, I've got over 300 famous and popular songs uploaded already. As a thank you for signing up, I'll give you access to hundreds more freebie videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and solos. Three ebooks I've written over the years containing, guess what? Hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons for the member area every week, unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots and lots of stuff to look forward to. And by the way, if you're over on my Facebook page, uh, then you can help to decide what songs um, get taught as well. I, I, I post occasionally um, um, asking my followers on Facebook, uh, what songs they'd like me to teach them. And then other, the other members get to vote on it. And, and based on that, um, the lessons are, uh, are chosen uh, around the views and, and wants and not wants of, of, of the Facebook page. So if you want to join in with deciding what songs get taught, then please go over there to do so. Um, if you write in the YouTube comment below, then I don't tend to um, uh, list them because they haven't been voted on by other people. Anyway. All explained over on Facebook, you find a link beneath the video for that as well. So until the next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.